Hi, I'm Yelena. Hey there, I'm Thibault. And this is our 1993 Renault traffic van named Jean-Claude. And we're coming to you from the beautiful island of Corsica in the Mediterranean. I was finishing my studies in architecture and a few months before we were trying to figure out what to do for the summer. We were very curious about van life in general and uh, we borrowed uh, my parents' car for a weekend. Prepped like food for the weekend, blew up the air mattress and just slept in the, their minivan and we did Normandy one weekend and one weekend we were in Brittany and we like just rented some surfboards and went out and had an amazing time and just fell in love right away with the lifestyle and just like the fluidity, not have any type of time constraints and like worry about catching flights or trains. And when he bought the van, I was still in Belgrade doing an internship. So I flew back to Paris. We had like three days to move out the apartment, get the van, do some sort of minimal renovation just to get to back to Belgrade because I still had a month left of my internship. So the original build was three pieces of wood that we just screwed into the metal floor. So still no insulation, nothing at all, like bare walls. And then after that, we made our way to Corsica and then we renoed it here and did the whole build here. So this is Jean-Claude, the 1993 Renault Trafic. Originally a minibus, a 2.5 diesel engine. In the front, we didn't do anything special. Storage here, in the doors also for water. Our low-tech uh, air conditioning. Our converter, which worked with the 12 volt outlet. When we go surfing, we use this lock. We put the keys of the car inside. We like to be uh, discreet. We always put those window inserts. A storage box near the wheel. It's not very wide, but we can put the clothing uh, like this just uh, randomly. The original car was uh, gray but the sliding door was dented and the replacement one was uh, white. We had to repaint the whole van and we decided to pick a vintage color. We used an electrical low pressure gun. The paint was one generally used for middle gates for houses. We also changed the side mirrors for a double mirror, which are very useful to check the blind spots. We bought the van for 1,700 euros. And when we got to Belgrade, we put in about 400 euros in repairs. So we got all new tires, fixing the electrical. And when we got to Corsica, we did like the actual build. So insulation, putting in the flooring. We got a bed in Croatia. We only had about 12 days. And for that, I think we spent maybe 500 euros. We didn't count dollar per dollar, but when budget allows, we'll add things as we go. But We've figured out a lot of hacks that we don't need it and the type of van traveling that we do, it's more than enough to leave for a month, even six weeks. We can do no problem with what we have and not feel like that we're missing something. So now to check out the inside of the van. We have one 20 liter jug that we use mostly for cooking water and showers. We use this kind of garden hose thing that I think they use for like fertilizers and pesticides and it costs seven euros. And so basically one of us just kind of pumps it and showers the person and you can rinse off. A lot of the times when we travel, there's showers on beaches or public pools. So if we really want to wash our hair and things like that, we'll do that here and then. But this is perfect for like everyday rinsing or even before going to bed, washing your feet. We do our dishes with this. You don't use a lot of water. This is our biggest hack and our cheapest hack, I think, out of the whole van. 20 liter gray water bottle. Before we had a solar shower in here, so like a soft plastic bag filled with water and we were doing the dishes in here. Sometimes the water would leak. This sink isn't very large. So yeah, we like just doing it outside. We weren't able to put the spare tire underneath the car. So we actually built up this area, the spare tires in the back there underneath. And then we also have our second car battery. We don't have solar installation. We just have a second battery that we charge from time to time. For a one month trip, it lasts pretty good actually. Then we have our shoe storage and our kitchen. <laughs> so this we use for everything. You can shower in it, we wash our dishes in it. 
And then we just have like a basic one burner grill. I think we paid 20 euros for this. We've had it for two years and it works like a charm. And actually the gas bottles last pretty long as well and they're cheap. Um, this is our vacuum. <laughs> so this is very handy, especially when we go surfing. This has been our bathroom. Creams, my hairbrush. We use like the biodegradable soaps, obviously. We just store it here so it's very accessible. Then we store our table in here as well. So it's just like one of those basic tiny little camping tables. We have two little camping chairs. We can sit on our fridge as well. So yeah, this is super handy. And again, I think we paid 10 euros for this table. So this is our bike area as well. So the fridge will normally go under the bed on the other side of the back side of the van. So we can easily fit our two long boards and our two bikes, no problems. Like we don't even take the wheels off or anything. They fit perfectly. And we just connect our bikes to the ratchet straps and they stay no problem. Blending in to our environment as much as we can was something we thought was important. Our fridge, I plug it in usually a day before we leave. So it just like cools the fridge. Our battery is underneath here. So there's a hole and yeah, I can just plug it into charge when I need to. Got it on Amazon. This was a bit more expensive. I think we paid 150 euros for this, but again, it's, I think it's totally worth it. And here we have kind of our book corner, a little nook, so just a tiny shelf. And inside here is a hole that we just kind of stuff our sleeping bags in every morning. So it's when you just wake up and stuff it in and you're ready to go. So we got this foam mattress in Croatia. We actually cut it down the half almost completely. When we don't have the surfboards, we can actually make it into a couch. So we just kind of pull it out. When I'm cooking, I can open these drawers here. And so I store all, like my pots and pans, we have all our utensils. And then our food storage is here. Canned goods, spices, teas, things like that. And then at night, especially when they're city and you can't sleep with the van doors open, this is very handy because it has a bit of an air going. When we're driving, we can charge it. So that's really, really handy. And I think this we paid 10 euros. These are the legs of our table. They're each numbered and we can have two levels. You just put a nail in the top and the table just sits right on the four legs. Yeah, this is tons of storage. Like I can put the fridge here if I want. Our lights here we got, I think in Ikea. So these ones are battery charged. So you just change the battery. And the other fairy lights we got at Ikea. They're outdoor garden lights that charges on a solar panel. So we just put it at the front while we're driving. So we have two storage boxes on the left side. We're actually gonna be putting in like a hatch here. So it's gonna be opening this way, so we'll have an extra tabletop to cook if we need to or whatever we want, and then we can access more easily the storage in here. As you go, you're always seeing what needs to be fixed, what can be easier. This is very basic how we did the ceiling. We just put um, insulation, and then his mom had this amazing idea. She just took an old piece of fabric and she connected it on a piece of wood all around and then it just kind of pulls out and we nailed it to the van. It costs like 30 cents for a piece of fabric and a few pieces of wood. The metal bars were actually the metal bars that went across when there was the old insulation in the car. We decided to recycle them, just welded them to fit and do our pantry area. If we're in a secluded area, we'll kind of just have this door almost shut and then we like to put mosquito netting so we'll just kind of hang it on the lights here it's so so handy and this costs like one or two euros the curtain rod is just like a basic shower rod and the curtains his mom sewed us from some fabric she had lying around and it's pretty thick so it's nice for the lighting in the morning if you want to sleep in and yeah I think a lot of people are scared that they need to save thousands and thousands of dollars to go travel and explore and it's really not the case. For a budget, it's good to just do something basic and go away for the weekends or explore your region. You don't need to travel far. You can just stand somewhere and see a sunset. You don't need a huge budget or you don't need to quit your job. I don't think you need to get really fancy. I think you can live very minimally in a van and still have everything you need and enjoy it just as much as, you know, a 50000 a hundred thousand yeah. dollar van. It's really uh, a very accessible way for a lot of people to just get started in traveling and you know you can get a van for a couple thousand euros put in a mattress and just you know get out and explore so that's what van life is for us I guess is just exploring mm. your backyard but a little more comfortably than in a tent.
Thanks for watching this week's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to share it with a friend. Make sure to check us out on Instagram, uh, World Is Your Office or Timo underscore Dini. And also, we're so excited. We're going to be launching the first social app for van lifers and outdoor enthusiasts called Nomadic App. So you can check us out at nomadic underscore app. Find nomads nearby, meet up, do fun activities. And yeah, we look forward to seeing you guys there. Peace. Have a great week.